Hi, this is Cheryl for Cut at Home. Today I want to show you a collection from Heartfelt Creations. This is one of their newer ones called Once Upon a Time. It has a time theme, so everything is clock faces and different types of clocks. Um, we start with a couple of background stamp sets. This one's kind of a collaged stamp set already with a few flowers and clock faces and that sort of thing, the cute brick background that would make a really cute stamped collage. Then we have a background stamp here with time to laugh, dream, embrace, love. Again, lots of words, but it would be very fun to start building a mixed media project. Next, we have a couple of um, sets that have just smaller elements, the alarm clock and the pocket watch. Here we've got a couple of flower sets with some clocks around them, again, designed to fit within this collection. And then finally, we have sets that show different clock faces. So this shows um, the regular numer numerals that we're used to. This one shows Roman numerals, very, very similar in their design. And then the one that I showed you at first is very similar to that, following the same designs, but giving you nice sentiments to go with. There's a happy birthday down here, um, good times with you, always have time for a friend like you, and those sorts of things. Very fun. Now these look a bit busy and gosh, how what would I do with them? Fortunately, there's a die that goes with that cuts these out. Again, these are the fronts from the stamp sets, so they're not to scale to fit the die, but you'll see in a minute how the die works perfectly to cut those out. Um, let's look at the paper collection that comes with it. It has a number of different sizes of elements with it as well as some borders here. Um, so it would be very easy to create a scrapbook with this. Lots of side pieces, very efficient use of paper. And then the backs, again, it's a double-sided paper, so there's lots of fun things you can use here. Um, many things that you could frame photos with and the like. Lots of good elements for cards if you're a card maker. Um, this particular one has some tags at the bottom of the page along with some frames that would work very well with photos. We have an all over page, perfect, perfect scrapbook page. This is the page that I chose to use for my project today, so you'll be seeing more of certain pieces of this one. And then we go back to a section where they have four six by six papers on a 12 by 12. So you have the nice smaller size papers that you can use to make your cards. Um, again, the back of that tends to be just background papers that can be used elsewhere. So there's several sets of the six by sixes. And then finally at the back, a lot of different tags and the like, again, would be perfect for cards or for a scrapbook album. Now, let me show you a little bit about these bigger stamps that I mentioned to you. Um, they're, they can be a little bit difficult to stamp. You can see this is the actual size of the stamp here. My favorite tool to use to stamp with this is the Impression Obsessions Mega Mount. It's made especially for these giant stamps that are just kind of difficult to stamp with. You can see it's got a very gentle curve to it. It's not meant to be rocked back and forth, but what you would do is you put your cling stamp on top of it and then you lay your paper down, ink it up really, really good. We're going to place it at the bottom first and then rock forward, giving it good pressure as you rock until you get to the front, rock it up and lift it up. Um, no, it's hard to see on camera, but I have two examples here. This first one where I did the process that I just showed you, where I started from the back and rocked to the front, and this one where I rocked back again. And you can see this one is very clean and crisp. This one starts to get a little bit of double vision here. Um, the lines are blurred, they're thicker, so it's not as nice a result. And usually when you do this, you get an even worse result. So try not to do that with the Mega Mount, but it is one of the easier way to stamp these big stamps. Then we've got our die, and I just want to show you that that does in fact fit over. I found when I was cutting, it was best to pick sort of the elements that I really wanted to feature and kind of focus on lining that up really well. I had a little trouble lining up the die so that everything came out as it should. You can see 
it's not quite right here. Let me lay it down. Maybe I can get it better that way. But you're going to line it up. It's not as though it's off too much. Because when you cut out, you get the lovely details of the pocket watch. This sort of elegant piece at the top turns out very well too because the die is going to cut out all those little pieces for you and all of these other fun little ones. Even um, these where they're off a little bit, you can just fussy cut that edge a little and you have a very usable clock face. So there's a lot of fun in these particular sets, a lot of different variety that you can achieve. Now let me show you a little bit about the project that I want to do. I've said this is a perfect mixed media stamp um, set, and so that's what I want to do is a little mixed media project for Father's Day. My sister found this really darling frame at a garage sale. It's got the glass front and then this wonderful inside that's very finished. I love the extra detailing with that. So it'll stand nicely on a desk when we're ready. I chose this paper in the back here and do you think I can find it quickly there we go this paper is the one that I'm primarily working with here what I did was I fussy cut out this with the border intact because I want to use this border and then I cut in here are my cut pieces my border I cut in a little bit at an angle to the center and then I cut out the middle part this middle part I'll actually trim to fit my frame. And then I'll work with the frame piece outside to make it fit around this. And in between those two layers, I have this lovely vintage lace that I think once it's distressed a little bit will look just gorgeous laying in between. Um, again, part of the fun of mixed media is just gathering all those things you think might work. And then as you put things together, you'll see what happens. Now these were two other clock elements, I'm sorry, three other clock elements that I was able to get parts of from my cut page. So I did grab those because I like the color in them. Of course, I'm going to throw in some of these that I've cut myself after I've distressed them, again, to fit the vintage nature of this. I found a set of brads that has some clock faces and is in the right colors and tones to go with this. Um, there are some cute Tim Holtz trinkets. This is a pocket watch trinket. My idea on this is to suspend the pocket watch, maybe from the top here, and then to just build up down below with some of these cute little clock faces. Some of them popped, some of them not. Um, it'll be an experiment to see how it turns out. I will make sure and um, post in a comment below the link to the blog post so those of you who got here directly through YouTube can get to the blog post and see the finished project. I also found this really cute clock key as part of the Tim Holtz elements and thought it would be cute kind of suspended over on this side. So there's lots and lots of fun to be had with this. You want things you can layer up that are different, that add different textures and colors. Clock faces from the Tim Holtz collections. These are just recollections, um, a Michaels brand. These are actually little spinners, game spinners. But I thought, you know, if I put those together, will people really know the difference? They may look like clock hands. So I have a lot of different things here to use. The little letters, TikTok, well-placed in this collection, I think is going to be a bit fun. I have a cute linen tape here that I'll use instead of linen. Again, I want this to be, a, I'm sorry, instead of ribbon. I want this to be a guy project, so I don't really want ribbon hanging around, but this will work really well to hold my clock in place. So a lot of fun, the Once Upon a Time collection from Heartfelt Creations. I know you'll enjoy working with it from many different things, from cards to scrapbooks to mixed media projects. Thanks for watching.